Hey guys, Ashley with Ash Cash Budget here. I am bringing you the last cash envelope stuffing of June slash the first envelope stuffing of July because I got paid at the very, very, very end of June. And this was actually the third check I got within June. For budgeting purposes, for all my bills, it's part of the June budget. But my cash envelopes are every two weeks. I just add to them. So that's what it is. It's already July. I was busy. I did spend some money already from it, but I am going to talk to you about that and separate everything. So I paid some things on my debit card in advance and just took out the difference. This says checks because this is what I picked up my check in this time. So I went with $30 less on my gas again and because of the differences as I'll explain um, for a couple of the other categories I ended up pulling out $286.40 usually if I got $90 for gas it would be $330 or $300 for $60 in gas so we have $286.40 I think this time I am going to take out the change and put it away with in the change jar that I'm kind of keeping. Um, it's been about two months so I just figured I'll take out the change so we'll get to that. So let's see. Two, four, six, eight. One hundred, two, four, six, eight. Two hundred, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighty, two, eighty, 586 and 25 30 35 40 cents so I'll separate these by 20s 10s and then the 5 and the 1 will be over over here 2280 We will start with my gas. I do need to fill up, but I have 26.65 in here. Some of it I am keeping as quarters because just in case I ever need the air machine or anything like that, just for emergencies. I'll keep the dollar fifty and quarters. I'm gonna take out the 65 cents to put into my change jar. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 65 is what I had. Now I have 26, 50. I'm going to add $60. And I do so in 30s. So 20, 30, and 20, 30. That's $60 this this pay period towards gas plus the twenty six fifty equals eighty six fifty for gas until the next pay period. So two, twenty, thirty, fifty, sixty, seventy five, eighty, eighty five, and then the quarters make it eighty six fifty for my gas money. Next is my fun money. So I went on payday. I did go out to eat with some of the, my coworkers and I got some tea. So I ended up spending, um, it was all of what I had left, which was $8. Plus I also spent before I could pull out money Let's see, it would be $3.60 on top of that. So I normally get out $20 for my fun money, my walking around money. So instead I get $16.40, that's where this 40 is. That's so what the 6 is for and a 10. So 10, 15, 60, 40. But I'm going to go ahead and put this 40 
in my change jar and I get $16 for the next, I guess, week and a half now, basically, is how long I'll have to stretch that one for. I only give myself $20 every two weeks anyways. So that is my fun money. Next, we go to the envelope uh, wallet. I got this envelope wallet from my Financial Peace University kit that I found at the church. Uh, it is available on Dave Ramsey's site. Um, I wasn't given it or anything, but I found the kit at the church that I do sound at, and they let me take what was left in the kit. So, my first category here is groceries. I was down to 55 cents. Now I did take some of the money from the grocery money this month to put towards my cat fund because there was a great deal with that where if I spent $60, I got $20 off. I spent a little bit more. I'm actually gonna get a refund of about the same amount that I took from the grocery budget. So when I get the refund, I'll just put it right back into groceries. But I have 55 cents here and I'll go ahead and put it into the change. So I have zero dollars in the groceries right now. So I contribute $40 from my regular paycheck to go into groceries. Um, that's because most of my grocery money comes from the church money that I do because I only work Sunday services plus a couple of extra services. So anything that we make from that goes into groceries and household fund. So I just add a little bit more from my personal account, like my personal checks to put towards groceries. We actually have, cause me and my boyfriend take shifts. If I'm working on Sunday, he'll cover for me. We have checks waiting at the church right now that I have to go and get in cash. Um, it used to be direct deposit and I would just pull it out and put it in my wallet. But um, they're changing uh, financial assistance or their accountant they're changing the accountant and so they're working on direct deposit so for now I'll have forty dollars in there but once I get the checks I'm actually expecting a little bit more than usual which usually I get 150 this time I should get 185 so I'm gonna put 160 towards groceries and 25 towards household instead of where I usually put 140 from the church check to groceries and $10 to household. Once I get that, it'll be $200. So household, as I was just talking about, it will have another $25 added when I get the when I get the church money. For now, it was at $0, I had nothing left. I do take $10 of my own personal check and put it in there. So for now, the balance is $10. It'll be 35 once I have the church money. Medical, I went and I stocked up on some vitamin D and calcium. So I was down to $33.08. So I'm going to take the change out. Take the eight cents out of here. all pennies put it aside to $25, $30, $31, $32, $33 dollars and I contribute $20 per paycheck and I will have to go get my prescription soon I have to get a medical mouth well, I get the mouthwash from the dentist so I will have to go buy that soon with this money as well, but that should cover both of them. I have $53 in there now. Now clothing, JCPenney's in the town where I'm working is closing down, so I was able to grab a couple pairs of pants for my boyfriend and a shirt for me. He's splitting the cost with me, um, so I ended up putting $24.35 towards clothing. Um, this was after I would have added the $10. So before I had 1655, 
I would have had $10 added from this paycheck to make $26.55. I spent $24.35, so I have $220 left in here, just because I left $220 behind is what the, the total would have been. So I have $2 left for my clothing and the 20 cents is going to the change jar. Hope that makes sense. I paid with the uh, debit card, so I basically just took off the 10 and then paid what else I needed out of here. Personal was down to $10. Um, I'm going to add 150. So I have 110 in there right now. Now cats, I spent every last cent I had because I had 42.77, and this was a great deal. I stocked up on some more wet food. I've been getting wet food a few times around, but I am fully stocked for about three months. I got another thing of dry cat food, which I've been keeping track of when I buy it. it took about two months for them to get through. Got some more litter, so I'm stocked up on litter. Um, I did have to take money from the grocery money, but that is basically the refund I'm going to be getting, so it'll even out. So I was at zero dollars on the cat fund. They get twenty dollars, so a total of twenty dollars in there for now. Hair was at one hundred and six dollars, and I always add. Well, not always add. So far, I've always added 20. If I'm ever below on what I make at work, then hair is one of the first things to get cut. Um, I do, I'm waiting until I work 4th of July because I'm gonna be working outside again. It really strips my colors. I've had a couple festivals I've been working outside. It's been a couple months, but after 4th of July, I'm gonna get it cut color it again. I will have to work outside probably one or two more times before the summer's over, but I think it'll be a good time. I also need some dry shampoo when I go to see her, so I'm not going to be spending all this 126 but I might also take my boyfriend to go get his cut. His is, of course, much cheaper than mine. <laughs> but if I can't contribute say next month because I don't think I'll get as many hours then at least I have kind of a stockpile for when I do need to cut my hair because I'm trying to keep it kind of short it makes it a little bit easier for work so now I have $126 in there with the 20 I just added two four six eight one hundred twenty five six dollars So that's it and I'll be back with you guys in a couple weeks with my next uh, envelope stuffing for July thank you guys for watching and uh, you might see a little bit of a change if I don't make as much money this month so stay tuned if you have any questions leave them below I'll talk to you guys later bye